For this study we recruited 125 amateur cyclists. These were people going out and cycling very regularly and cycling good distances. And we had 84 men and 41 women and they were aged 55 to 79. This study was designed to try to find out how much of what we think of as normal ageing, such as loss of muscle and bone as we get older, um, was actually down to a reduced level of physical activity as we get older. And what the study showed was that, yes, these cyclists who had maintained a good level of physical activity all of their adult lives didn't lose muscle or bone. But more surprisingly, what the study also found was that they also had a great immune system. So the age-related loss of an ability to counteract infections and respond to vaccines also wasn't lost in these cyclists. One of the key findings from the study that explained why the immune system was so good in our cyclists was that an organ called the thymus, which sits just above your heart, uh, has the role in the body to produce new immune cells. And in most people, this starts to shrink from about the age of 20. What we found in the cyclists was it hadn't shrunk at all, and they had the same amount of new immune cells as a 20-year-old. So this may explain why their immune systems are so good. This research is important because it really tells us that staying physically active all of your adult life can prevent much of what we think of as ageing, including immune ageing. And what we predict is that our cyclists should be able to respond really well to their annual flu vaccination and have a lower incidence of infections. We hope that this will really encourage adults to stay as physically active as they can. We're not suggesting they all become cyclists, cycling over 100 kilometres a week, but at least just doing something, being more active than they are at the moment. If we can get that message through, then I think we'll all have a healthier old age.